All right. We're going to have to pull off a job, and we're going to have to pull it off soon. The crew's getting restless. It's been too long since we've gotten any gold coming in. The problem is this bloody war between the loyalists and the rebels, and there's no end in sight. The waters are too dangerous, so no merchants are conducting business. There's plenty of ships on the water, but they're all transporting war supplies. They're too heavily guarded. There's one thing when we could just sack any merchant ship in sight, but this is getting ridiculous. If the crew gets too restless, we might have a mutiny on our hands. So, we really need some gold coming in soon. And I think I have an idea. I don't know if you're going to like it or not. But you need to stick with me on this one. If we can get some gold in our coffers, that'll be enough to tie it off mutiny for a few months. I think what we need to do is hold it down for ransom. What we'll do is we'll weigh anchor off the coastline fire a few shots into the town every now and then until our demands are met. Eventually they'll pay us off to leave. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but if he gets the job done, he gets the job done. I've been reviewing a few options here. There's Monglo, Jelm, Oaklo. I think the best island that's just right for the picking is right here. Magincia. This little nugget. They're a very wealthy community. But although they have money on their hands, it's just not a very tactical position. So the loyalists, the rebels, uh, neither one of them have much of anyone outfitted there. So, what I'm thinking we'll do, we'll each take one of the ships. I'll let you assemble your crew, select your first mate, quartermaster, get everything in order. I'm going to have you weigh anchor about half a mile off of the east coastline. I'll take my ship, weigh anchor off the west coastline. We'll probably need to dock first, go into town, get the supplies we need. We'll make our demands known, we'll sail back out, set up into position. Every hour, we'll fire a shot into the town. That's going to get them into a right panic. Every time, they'll think, what if this next one hits my house? What if it hits my business? Once we get the populace into enough of a panic, that's when they'll meet our demands. It's important we get this job done in about a week. And the reason for that being is this monstrosity right here, Serpent's Hold. It's an incredibly well outfitted island. It's like a f bloody fortress on the water. The strongest outpost of the Loyalist army by far. If they sail up towards us, I'd say yeah, about a week. That's, that's the best we can hope for. Our ships aren't outfitted to take down anything like that. We can outrun them, but that's about all we have on our side. Since they're so heavily outfitted, they're just being weighed down too much, we can take off in a hurry. They'll either come up from the east or the west, around Oaklo. That means one or the other will spot them first. We'll fire three shots in rapid succession to let the other know that the enemy's on the way. If that happens, worse comes to worse, we can go here, Buccaneer's Den. It's just a hive of filth and villainy. If we go there, they know they can't follow us in. A loyalist ship would have hell on their hands trying to dock there. They don't have the men to overtake it, and if they do, they don't want to face those losses while they're still trying to fight off the rebels. So. That's about it. Any suggestions? No, no, no. Grape shot. 
would not be a good option for this. We need to focus on long range. Grape shot will have two collateral damage. We want to scare them. We don't want to kill them. We'll just use standard shot. But I am thinking we could use modified charges. If we use extra black powder in the charges, it could do a little bit of toll on the cannons over time, but it'll make the shots extremely loud and that much more terrifying. That's really the objective here. Cause as much damage to the buildings as we can, kill as few people as possible, but just get the town into such a panic that they'll meet whatever demands we make. I'm thinking maybe 5,000 crowns. I know that's a bit low for a job of this magnitude, but like I said, we just have to get some gold in our pockets and we have to pull this off before that week passes. We have to get them to cave in before reinforcements arrive, and they know those reinforcements are on their way, so we have to make them cave in before that time is up. We can't let them outlast us. Well, we can maybe bring the demand up to say 6,000 crowns when you're cut in mine, I would still leave plenty for the crew, enough to keep them satisfied for a good long while. I mean, you're right, we need to get a good return for a job of this magnitude, but I'm just hesitant to ask for any more than that. I guess sometimes you have to just have to take a chance. Right. I suppose I'm ready if you are. It's about three days from where we are now, we'll be on that dock. Like I said, get your crew ready. If you feel like having a drink, now's the time. We should probably stay sober for the duration of this blockade. No ships go in or out the entire time we're holding them down. That's another thing. Open fire on anyone who tries to enter the dock. Anyone who tries to leave the dock. Inability to get supplies in and out will make them in more of a panic. They'll be sweating more. Alright, well, let's get to it. <sighs>